Despite multiple signs and public notifications indicating the state and county parks at Eyal Valley remain closed, parks and enforcement officers continue to encounter frequent trespassers into areas considered dangerous from damage sustained in a 100-year flood that occurred in September. Larry Pacheco, Maui District Superintendent with the DLNR Division of State Parks, said that nearly every time he arrives at one of the locked gates leading into the valley, he ends up encountering individuals ignoring the signs. We're at the Kepaniwai gate, which is located on Eyal Valley Road. The, the major problem that we've been having is that although there are signs posted saying the park is closed, people still come up here, they park on both sides of the roadway, and they're accessing both the county park and the state park up above. Homeowners who live at the head of the valley indicate that cars turn around in the middle of a narrow bridge and block their driveways. A handwritten sign taped over a permanent sign indicates homeowners will call the police if they see people trespassing. Due to the construction that's taking place, the main problem is that it's a hazard. We don't want anybody getting hurt. Also, we have residents that live adjacent to this entry point that when vehicles are parked all over the roadway, they're also impacted. We don't want them negatively impacted by the, the unauthorized people coming up into the park area. This area is closed. Pacheco said he recently encountered a jogger who had run all the way up Eyal Valley Road and crossed in front of mechanized equipment working on a stream bank stabilization project. While working up in the park, we had a mini excavator and a person tried to squeeze between the mini excavator and the railings and uh, could have got seriously hurt. Um, actually, it was very argumentative that why is the park closed and that we're taking away his areas to exercise. So uh, We've had to ask our enforcement officers to make checks, periodic checks, um, especially weekends and holidays, to get people to comply with the park closure. Just yesterday, Pacheco said he had conversations with several groups of visitors who were insistent on entering the park, but later relented and left the area. Sir, the park is closed. Maui County employees report many similar incidents. Officers from the DLNR Division of Conservation and Resource Enforcement have the discretion to cite offenders. Currently, a crane is being used for contractors to shoot shotcrete on more than 400 feet of stream bank that was washed away and severely eroded during the flooding. Stay tuned as our Maui Now team brings you more on the ongoing work in the valley in a special report. For Maui Now in Iao, I'm Wendy Osher.